Hello, hello. Hi, guys. We are going live in all the places right now, guys, because that is the life that I'm about, is about saving time. Um, I'm still in workout clothes because I went and worked out this morning early at Box House and now I'm headed to go to a new training facility. Hi, Kayla with the K. <laughs> and um, I've got like all my lab work taken and I'm like, I'm really taking my health to the next level. I'm going to get x-rays done because um, my hip's been hurting. I'm like an old lady over here. Um, I'm super excited about it. So I'm going to like go and get like my body composition measured. I've never done that before. So yay. Thank you. Thank you, Kayla with the K. I'm sure you look beautiful and stylish as always. Hi, everybody that's hopping on. So I'm going to get on here for just a few minutes because you know what? I got to tell you guys some, some truth coming in to this world. All right. So you guys are going to want to watch this. Okay. And you're going to watch the whole entire thing. Okay. Stay on here. Stay on here. I love you guys. Mwah. We're going to also do a podcast with this. So that's why I have the mic in my face. <laughs> and if my eyes are all over the place, it's because I'm looking all over. So please ask me questions while we're going along. If you're loving what I'm saying, it really helps me out. If you guys show me some emojis, give me some hearts, tell me that you love it. Cause then I'll like feel the vibe, you know? <laughs> all right. So I was thinking about this because people ask me, why are you so driven? And I always just thought I was so driven because um, I'm allergic to being average. And I say that all the time and I still think I am allergic to being average, right? But, and I needed to like get honest with you guys because this is really the real freaking truth right here about why I work so hard. And this is something that is not going to be a popular response. I'm gonna tell you that right now. Because like psychologists out there and like all these freaking life coaches are going to have a problem with what I'm about to say. I already know that. So hi to the life coaches. Hi to all of you guys that are going to have a problem with this because I love you because everybody needs to hear this. If you really want to do what it takes to be successful, okay, you have got to get honest with yourself. You need to be so freaking self-aware about why you do what you do. Um and actually go and freaking take action, okay? Because some of us are lying to ourselves. And I talk about being positive all the time. I talk about being positive because it is so important to be optimistic, to say good things, to not talk crap about people, um, and all those things, right? That's all amazing. But let's all talk about the, fa the fact that we all have a dark side, okay? We all do. We all have a dark side. And the thing that really makes me work so freaking hard. At the end of the day, I'm going to be just so freaking honest with you. I'm even kind of like nervous saying this because you know, I'm this bubbly person and I got lots of energy. I work so hard because I am so pissed still. I'm still pissed to this day that people made fun of me when I was in elementary school, that people called me thunder thighs when I was in high school that people didn't believe in me when I first started my network marketing business. They told me I was going to lose. They ghosted me. Okay. People told me no. Left and right. People made fun of me. Okay. Getting out there and being positive and like changing my life. And look, I'm fired up right now. You guys are going to see the angry side of Kayla. <laughs> this isn't even angry because I can still laugh. Right. But this is the thing. This is what I want you guys to get across. It still pisses me off. Yes, I forgive them. Trust me, I want the best for them. But guess what? All those people now that made fun of me, they all want to act like they know me now, right? They all want to act like, oh man, I know her and I'm so proud of you, Kayla. I'm like, dude, the reason why I work so hard was to prove you wrong. So now you want to act like you know me because I'm Miss Successful. But guess what? I still have this burning freaking desire. I have not made it. I still don't look at myself as a successful person because I'm still working hard every single day because I still have something to prove to myself and to all those people <laughs> that gave me attitude, that ghosted me, that made fun of me when I was growing up and they're all freaking broke now. And I, that doesn't make me happy. I'm just telling you that right now. That doesn't make me happy, but it still makes me angry, okay? And the reason why I want you guys to know this is because there's a lot of gurus out there. You guys can tell I'm getting angry right now. There's a lot of gurus out there that say, you know, you need to do it from a loving place. 
heck yeah, I'm doing it from a loving place. I'm doing it from a loving place that I love myself so much that I'm not going to let those people freaking be right. Okay. And people don't talk about using that darkness inside of you to actually do something. And so that's what I want to do right now is to let you guys know that it's okay. If somebody pisses you off and says something bad about you and says that they don't believe in you and blah, 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 then freaking own it and take that, harness it and make you go. Because I see a lot of people out there that you're not harnessing that insecurity. And that's really what it comes down to is that I was so insecure and I still, you know, can, I still use that. I'm not insecure as much now. I still have insecurities, but that insecurity as a young child and all that stuff drove me in the first five years, okay? And it is okay. If you are an insecure person right now and you are pissed off that people don't believe in you, that's okay. Use that, use that. And if you can't use that anger, then I don't know if you're gonna make it, to be honest. Like I really don't because you have to have something like that that makes you keep going, okay? And if, if you don't care that people are saying you can't do something, then you probably don't have the grit <laughs> to get through this. Because every time I don't want to do something, because trust me, there's all the times throughout the week when I'm going like freaking busting my butt right now building four companies, you guys, um, where I'm like, I don't feel like doing this. Like, I just want to freaking Netflix and chill right now, okay? And I'm like, nope. Remember that guy that called you thunder thighs and you just felt really bad about yourself because he did that when you were in high school and nobody wanted to date you in high school? Mm, like I use that anchor, you guys, like for real. And so that's what I want you guys to do. I'm giving you guys all permission to use that insecurity to drive you at first. It, it just what works. And some people that are saying all the feel good crap, which it's not, okay, it's not crap. Okay, I'm gonna take that back. It's not crap, okay? It's good to feel good. But what I'm saying is if you don't have that feel good right now, and you still have a little anger, then freaking use it. Because a lot of feel good people out there, they're not doing crap. They're broke and saying to feel good and manifest crap and it's going to come into your life. I'm just saying, mm, go look at their bank account. Okay? Like for real. So that's what keeps me going every single day. I just wanted to give you guys that permission slip. And look, I like, I just still, it gets my blood boiled that people used to talk crap about me. Even though I forgive them and it's like all good. Like I literally don't have hate towards any single person at all. But it's just use that. Use that. Okay? Because I... I still do. I still do. Every time I want to give up, I still use that because I'm always going to keep going. There's never a there for me. It's just always winning, like literally a long-term game, play, playing to freaking win and using that grit. And I just feel like you guys need to harness that a little bit, like get pissed. Like a lot of you guys are a little bit too freaking happy. You know what I'm saying? Like a little too happy where you need to just get like mad at yourself even. Like get mad at yourself and just freaking go. Look, you guys can tell I've been boxing a lot with my aggression. <laughs> so uh, that's my soapbox for today. All right. And it's not going to be popular. It's not one of those things that's like look into the dark side, but freaking it works. So if you have no motivation right now, if you're freaking lazy and you think you've made it, uh, no, you haven't. Okay. Hi, Alyssa. Hi guys. Hi, all of the, <laughs> you guys are all coming at, at the end. So all of you guys need to go back and watch the beginning of this and share with all your friends that are lazy and need to get angry. They need to use that anger to fuel them to go and actually do something with their lives. Okay. Instead of just feeling good. I, I just, I just can't, I just can't anymore. I had to say it. Okay. Because Really, if I think about every successful person that I know that's like truly successful, like didn't just like make, you know, $100 one time, okay? But like truly successful, they all have a little bit of that. They all have a little bit of like F you in them to all those people that said they couldn't do it. That's just true, okay? You said a single mom would fail and not be able to grow a business and I was going to be another statistic. That's gasoline for my fire. Exactly, and nobody wants you guys to do it for that reason. But I'm to be honest, that's why I did it. That is the fuel that got me through because it is hard to be an entrepreneur. It is hard because it's going against the grain. It's the road less traveled, you guys. And you sometimes have to use that, that dark side to freaking get you going. All right. So I got to go because guess what? I'm already late for myself <laughs> for another call because 
Mama is working, and yes, I worked all weekend because sometimes it doesn't look pretty in the beginning stages, you guys, and all of you guys need to know that. The four hour work week, blah, blah, blah. Like seriously, you gotta work. You gotta work for what you want, okay? And you gotta work harder on your heart than anything else. And that's what's gonna set you apart long-term because everybody else, guess what? They gave up. They gave up an hour ago because it got too hard. So you will win eventually if you do not give up and you have that grit. And don't forget the bad things that people say about you, let that drive you. Mwah, mwah, mwah. I love you, bye, I gotta go. <laughs> Um, yay. I'm so glad you will never give up. So for all of you guys listening into this podcast right now, if you loved this episode and you really thought, Hey, this got you freaking fired up. Uh, it gave you a little swift kick in the pants, then share it out there with all of your guys' friends, because that really helps me get the message out there. And really my goal is to make sure that people get what they want in life and that they really prove to themselves every single day that they are capable of what they're of more than what they are currently doing. Um, and I believe that for every single one of you guys that are listening in right now and watching this live video, go out there and make it happen for yourself today, okay? Don't compare it to anybody else's picture out there and anybody else what they're saying on social media. No, go and do you, boo-boo, all right? <laughs> Bye guys. I hope you guys like that. If you guys are just tuning in, go back and watch the replay.